Genia. Curtly Bill to Ioane. Back goes Bill. Great Good tackle. work from Alan Wynne Jones. Yes, indeed it was. Tackle still come in. O'Connell involved there. Now prone on the floor. Vunapola comes through. It's a penalty. And that score was Australia's. Next one might be as well. It's in front of post, but it's about 46 metres or so. It hasn't been easy so far. Will James O'Connor go again? Will Curtly Beale have a crack? They've lost two goal kickers. Is it Beale? Curtly Beale is saying over to me. O'Connor is trying to run angles at fringes more and more in this game. And it's not pretty, but the Lions, as we'll just say, they are not quite holding their discipline as they would like. We're always being told it's a game of inches. Uh, just watching the ball there, Beal placed it a little bit further downfield than the penalty was given. Only a little bit, not enough to attract the referee's attention, who was just walking away a moment. And then the kicking tee went just a little bit beyond where the ball was placed. Miles Everybody does it. And always have. <laughs> and always have. Might just make the difference. We will see. Beal has got a big boot anyway. More than enough. From 2012 down, with a flanker in the centre, Australia have clawed their way back. Lions discipline not great, and the Lions getting nervous. Mike Phillips coming off. I don't think it's been his best Mike game. Ben it's Youngs has come on. The Lions really could do with putting some water ahead now. Youngs has been brilliant so far this tour. Maybe he could just ignite them around the fringes. Next score, massive. There's the big frame of Kane Douglas. Played well. So the two Youngs brothers on the field together. Genia O'Connell knows that he has to be careful there. Done enough to make it very awkward though now for the scrum half, and he's going to have to give it to Bill. And the pressure is on from Vunapola, the prop. Sexton looking for the composer as Will was talking about. Halfpenny is going to challenge here, but it's Genia again. Majestic evening he's having. Well played by Robinson as well, standing in at scrum half. Good service to Bill. Had a very good night too. Ben Robinson, Hello. Sexton, bouncing for him, takes it inside to Paul O'Connell. We said the next score is massive. Vunapola caught by Wycliffe Palu. Ben Youngs again to Tom Croft. Tom Youngs to Vunapola. Just bounced off Parlu. <laughs> Youngs to Sexton. He slips in midfield. Strong run from him. Oh, Cuthbert was waiting, looking for his second. There is Alex Cuthbert. But loss of control. Why? Referee says round on the wrong side. Australia. Penalty. Lee Halfpenny again. Now he missed the one just before half time, which was most unusual for him. Simple conversion afterwards, but this is one that you expect half penny to kick. And the Lions, they have had the edge in the goal kicking department, and they need their Cardiff Blues full back to step up now just to steady the ship. This is beautiful from Johnny Sexton. Perfect weight on it. The ball actually stops a bit too much for him, but he's having a, a quietly impressive second half as well. For once, it's Australia pinged at the breakdown. Big kick for Halfpenny. The brotherly link on the field is about to come to an end for now as uh, Richard Hibbard comes on. Came on with great ferocity in Canberra, didn't he? And set an impact there. And the Osprey onto the field. His fellow countrymen all lines together now. Lee Halfpenny. 
what an important kick this is. 15 minutes to go. It's where he missed it from just before half time. He's had a range. That one just slightly to the right. Correct yourself. Get that computer going. Talking to himself, chuntering away to get it all right here when it matters most. Half penny straight through the middle. Half penny for the Lions. And in the moment that mattered from him, no half measures. Absolutely bang on. 15 minutes to go. Half penny might kick him. Curly Beale might kick him. But there's two men that hold the key to this. Sexton at 10 for the Lions, his class, and Genia at 9 for the Wallabies. Beale's restart, and that has gone up so high, but so too as Alan Wynne Jones. Great take. Great lift as well. That was really good technique. Ben Youngs. Cuthbert trying to get there. It bounces infield. Again, he's got Paul O'Connell trying to affect some kind of interception there, but it's gone wide now, or wide-ish to Beale. He's going through the middle. Kirtley Beale is back. Kirtley Beale, stunning run. What a target this is for Genia and the Wallabies, Captain Hallwell. Five points in it, might not be for long. Genia once more. Ioani again wants his hands on it, but the Lions do to Australia what Australia did to the Lions on virtually the same spot earlier in the match. And Chris Pollock again doesn't feel the need for yellow. Well, the Lions are lucky there, but on the balance of the game, it would have been harsh had they been yellow carded. Two wrongs don't make a right, but one genius does make a very dangerous rugby player. Kirtley Bill, he is in focus and playing. Sam Warburton and co left for dead. His change of pace is quite brilliant. His captain is doing everything he can to get there, but the Lions able to slow it down, and it's Paul O'Connell who does just about enough. The five-point lead is about to be cut to two again, you would assume. Curtly Beale, he's come off the bench, he's kicked a 45-metre penalty, and he has just lifted this ground. And speaking of his guilt and his actions and how he let down his Rebels teammates. But he's bounced back remarkably quickly, which is great credit to him just to be in a position to play rugby, but to play it that well at this stage of the game. Hats off to Kirtley Bill, and if he can follow it up now with his three points. Well, what a play from him, inspired by him and finish by him, and what a finish we are about to have to this first test match. Well, I said that Beale was going to play in Melbourne no matter what, and the Barnes injury brought him into the game early. It's awful for Berwick Barnes, but it might just be a, a little bit of a, a blessing in disguise for Robbie Deans. Johnny Sexton gets ready, two more Wallaby changes. Also tell you about the second test. I'm not sure you need reminding, but there you go anyway. James Slipper is on in the front row, and Rob Simmons in the second row. Mako Vinipola is so quick. He forced Will Genia to hurry that clearance there. Didn't quite get hold of him. Made a good go at it. Simmons comes on, that probably weakens Australia at the breakdown, and it does in the scrum, but Simmons is a very good line-out exponent, and Hibbard has had his problems, one of the reasons perhaps why he didn't make the team, he's got to find his man now, now's the time not to go long, hit Croft. Taken by Croft. More than one occasion, the Lions have got a rolling more going in this match, and they try and get another going. Kepu adds his fresh weight in there, so too Simmons. And this suddenly is very hard work for the Lions, and Ben Young's realising that. It just needs more room to get the pass in. So cluttered around that was the scrum a, half. That was a very clever little pass from Young's to Heaslip. And he just knew, didn't he, that he had to have a little bit more around him to be able to do it. 
Sexton. Jonathan Davis now chasing this. Well, that's closer to the Lions. O'Driscoll gets hold of Hooper. Touched by Genia, falls into the arms of Ioani, but he's in the arms of George North. And that is a crushing place to be. Scrum in front of the post, yes it is. Uh, Johnny Sexton, a perfect high ball. The little chips, the little feints, the high balls. It isn't flash, but Sexton is just marshalling the Lions through this nervous passage. What an opportunity now. When they lost to the Brumbies Tuesday, they could have gone for a drop to close it. Will Sexton, a very smart drop goal, I think, set me up. Let's take three points. I still think there's long to go, go for the score, but they'll be thinking it. Jamie Roberts out injured, testing out the hamstring. Tremendous kick, wasn't it, from Sexton? Towered in the night sky of Queensland and just outside the 22. If you're a young fly half, that is the perfect up and under. Change from the Lions now, Halloween Jones going off, as you can see, and that means Jeff Parling comes on. Uh, Alan Wynn has played. Alan, Alan Wynn has played really well today, but Parling has been the Lions' best impact line-out forward. He's come on and he's really added spring at the line-out. Simmons is on, it's almost a like-for-like. -like. Also showed his leadership qualities in the dressing room after the defeat in Canberra Touch! on Tuesday night when he Touch! was one of those reading the riot act. So Parling into the scrum. Winner game here. Oh, but he goes oh, all wrong at the base and Gedea gets rid of it. And where's this going to bounce to Falau? North has got him, Falau goes on and they renew their battle. It is going to be a classic confrontation between those two during the course of this series. But who will end the first game having won it? Falau or North, Australia or the Lions? Ashley Cooper. Another opportunity wasted by the British and Irish Lions. Just short of that line. And the scrum as well. Genia goes looking for the space. More to Hooper. Eight minutes. Simmons has to be a call of use it. Just waiting there, Rob Simmons. But Australia get the put in. Lions came through, they couldn't control it. The ball was out there, but I'm still thinking back to that scrum. Seven metres from the try line. What an opportunity gone. What a kick from Will Genia. And Falau tahoed over George North to win that ball. Here's the moment. Awful there, but Genia on the spin, under pressure from Heaslip, what a kick. And look at that athletic reach of Falau and his ability to take on North. Game changers in the Aussie team. Now the ball was out, Youngs comes in, but in the end the Lions are able to control it. Scott, how did you see that last scrum? Well, they've been disappointed that they lost that scrum, but what they can't do now is lose belief. What they need to do is come together. Sam Warburton just needs to get his pack in, he needs to get his side in and say, guys, we are winning this. We need to believe in ourselves. We need to believe in what we can do. Our scrum is better than that. Let's scrum, let's go at them, let's get over that game line, let's pressure them. We have got seven and a half minutes not to hang on but to go at Australia and prove why we should come here and we can win this. Well having said that Lydiot's on for Croft and Lydiot is an outstanding defensive player and that almost looks like what we have we hold. But what Lydiot will do is smash anything around the fringes but the worry with his Australian team is getting that ball to Falau still looks so threatening. I can't keep thinking is it written for Kirtley Beale? to win it at the end. We shall see. Here's Falau. He's been writing some purple prose today in the gold of Australia. Genia. Luani again. Genia 
to Parley. Just need Australia to engineer that position and they've got it. They have got it. O'Connor looks at Bill and wishes him well. It's going to be Bill. He's shaking hands with his colleagues and he is getting ready for the kick. We are still some way out from the final whistle, but this might be the moment for Kirtley and Australia. Well, we said after five minutes when Brian O'Driscoll had been twice penalised at the breakdown that the Lions have to be careful with Chris Pollock. And I think Marco Vunipola has gone off his feet. It was one of the reasons why I felt he shouldn't start. He's a young, inexperienced player and the adrenaline courses through your veins when you hear atmosphere like this. So, the error from the Lions. Can Kirtley Beale continue this fantastic comeback? Robbie Dean said he is right back there. We are about to find out. Those posts will be narrowing. Hasn't missed yet. To be a hero again. What a story his return has oh. been, but it is not going to have the perfect ending for now. And maybe for the game, full stop. Bill misses. The Lions survive in front by two. Warren Gatland going through the tortures of being a Lions head coach. Well, Curly Beale has done so much for Australia. He's got them back in the game with his counter-attack and penalties, but that was a bad miss. O'Connor, who started the night missing those kicks? Not just about the last kick, but no. that will be the one to be remembered if it turns out that way. In goes Lydia, makes a tackle. Moen, what an engine he's had tonight. Genia too. They're still far from done, of course. Oh, yes. Genia to Slipper. O'Driscoll hasn't tasted Lions' victory in a test since Brisbane 2001. Is he about to again? Palu back to Genia. Beal almost slips on this tricky turf. Horwell's lost it, the captain turned over. Lions put in, and under four minutes now. That's good, powerful stuff there from Vudipola. Horwell who's had a very fine game in so many aspects, will be disappointed Well, you can see that. Dan Cole is down at the moment. Oh, sorry, Paul O'Connell is down. Dan Cole is most certainly up. Nick Phipps is coming on. And he ain't coming on for Will Genia. No, that not is at all. Genia is still out there. It's Adam Ashley Cooper who's being called off. Well, he's, he's got a little bit of a lip. There's no way Phipps comes on for Ashley Cooper unless he's holding something. Is he holding his right arm slightly there, Miles? Yeah. Yes, yeah, looks awkward. Oh, it's been horrendous for Australia. And when they write the story of this one, it has to be taken into account all these injuries. Horrendous. Will. And, and Tremendous courage from Adam Ashley Cooper. He did his shoulder about five to six minutes ago. Talking to that doctor there, they think he dislocated it a short time ago. It's popped back on. He's tried to finish the game. It's got the better of him. That's the level of intensity these boys are prepared to go for a victory tonight. Thanks for the top information, but so tough for Adam Ashley Cooper in Australia. Meanwhile, talking of tough, the Lions pack try and see this one out. There's not a soul in Britain or Ireland doesn't want this whistle to blow in three minutes, but we've got to contextualise this at the moment. Hadley Halfpenny been kicking for Australia with all the injuries they've had, with all the disorganisation behind the scrum, 
Australia would be clear at this stage with all of that taken into account. So if the Lions do win this test, you do not start Touch. saying it's almost over. There's a hell of a long way to go. Shit. Indeed, but it has rolled for the Lions tonight. They will know that. You just, you just want, don't you? Phipps is on the left wing now. Robbie Dean's looking on. He must be thinking, if the Lions put together a really quick scrum and they give Cuthbert a one-on-one -on, -one on Phipps, there is a real concern there. Hooper's defending very wide, and even though a flanker, he is quick. Howley, he can't look. He could hardly bear to look. Of course, he was scrum half in 2001 at the Gabba. Touch! Sit! Took it off his boots to set up Jason Robinson's try. Down goes the scrum again. The referee's going to let it go. In fact, the Lions come through. Oh, it's a penalty! Penalty to Australia! Beal's got another shot if he's the chosen man. Yeah, he is. At the scrum for Australia. Out of the soft... Out of the soft surface. Bill has to go 46 metres. He has done it once. He has the temperament. Dan Cole cannot believe it. But the Lions, they kept it there. They thought they could control it. How many times have you seen in big matches teams just keep that ball at the scrum and then get penalised? This time the referee steps in just to get the kicking <laughs> tee in the right position. It's the one that really, really matters now. And if the Lions management couldn't bear to watch a minute ago, they surely can't bear to watch again now. The noise will tell them. Bill, it's straight, but it's a long way out. <laughs> and the match rests on it. It will feel a mile out from the post for this man. For Kirtley Beal, a moment of redemption within the match, let alone his comeback in general. Trying to calm himself, the test match comes down to this. Beal, oh, he slipped! It's not there! The Lions have it! It is not a Mornay State moment. It is a Lions moment. And just like 12 years ago, the Lions have won in Brisbane.